Whether you are taking Becker CPA Review course, Roger, Glime, Sargent, or Wiley, these courses are all acceptable courses for you to pass the exam. But there are two reasons why these courses may not be as efficient for you. The reasons are they might be going a little bit too fast. That's one reason. The second reason is they may not be covering the material in depth. And what happened is this. Some of the material they're covering, you either did not take it in college, or if you took it in college, you forgot it, or you took it a long time ago. So how do my CPA supplemental course help you pass the exam? My material goes much slower than a traditional CPA course, and it goes more in depth than a CPA course. You would still need your CPA course because the CPA course will provide you with a practice simulations. I do have practice as well. I do have exercises but you will need your CPA course. So to show you how it works exactly, I created five FAR CPA courses, each for one of the major CPA prep provider. So let me show you what, whether at either course you are taken, I'll be able to help you pass the exam. First, you go to farhatlectures.com. Then you would click, since I'm showing you FAR, click on the supplemental course CPA exam FAR. And once you do so, you're going to come to my course catalog under CPA exam FAR, and I do have five different courses for FAR, one for Wiley, Glime, Sargent, Becker, and Roger. So for the purpose of illustration, I'm going to click on Becker. You click on Becker, and first you have the summary of the course. So this, co this course is best for people who are taking Becker. It tells you what I have, hundreds of hours of lectures, 600 multiple choice questions, PowerPoint slide note, 100 plus exercises, which are quasi CPA simulations. You could also have access to 500 CPA questions and 50 plus solved AI CPA questions. Now you click on preview to see what the course looks like. So this is what's inside the course. First, I have two sessions that Becker don't have them, which is F0 module one, F0 module two. F0 module, I always have those module at the beginning for whatever course you are taking. Those are basic accounting concepts in case you need them. So if you click on it, it's gonna show you double entry, journalizing, basic financial statement concepts. Then I have F0 module two, which is the time value of money. I believe that's important that you learn this before you dive deep into bonds. Um, leases, uh, deferred taxes, so on and so forth, as well as notes payable. Then I have my course organized just like Becker, F1 module one, the conceptual framework and financial accounting. So basically what it does, it, it's, it's structured the same way as Becker. So first, if Becker is going too fast or not in depth, you can come here, cover, cover the material slowly, more in depth, then go to Becker and Becker will make much more sense. Then I have F1 module two. Then I have additional questions solved by me about F1 module one. Then if you want to go F1 module two, you go to F1 module two. Same thing, I have the same material covered, similar to, to Becker, but a little bit more in depth. So this is Becker, but this concept apply to all the other courses other than Becker. I'm just showing you Becker for illustration, but if you're taking Wiley, Glime, Sargent, or Roger, the same concept apply. I have the same structure and you will be able to learn the material slowly, much more in depth, then go to your CPA CPA prep course and take advantage of their teaching style. So first you learn it, then you go and you review it. You don't review it if you never learned it. And if the CPA prep course is not covering something in depth, I do cover everything much more in depth and slow, on a slower pace. So I believe that's the key for you to pass the exam. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you could always email me. Good luck. Study hard.